you're not as ginger as I thought. You're not as Scottish as I thought. Where's the kill? And uh, anytime you meet fans, it's they're just so genuinely enthusiastic and, and supportive. Um, sometimes in the strangest places, you know, in, in, in the gym or in the changing rooms in the gym or uh, recently on a flight to New York, I had uh, a woman approach me. And uh, yeah. as I said before, you know, they're, they're always really genuinely enthusiastic about the show. Yes, I just shot this independent movie in, in Los Angeles and I had, uh, well, as much as I could grow a beard, a full on beard, and uh, my hair was very different. And, you know, I was not training in the gym and trying to be as much as the character as possible, being a writer. And uh, I went a bit incognito, and that was fantastic to be able to sort of go under the radar. I mean, I, I, I'm really boring that I love that kind of stuff. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And during this independent film that I shot, I, hadn't, I didn't work out for like three, four months. So uh, I was dreaming about deadlifting. No, the scarring is, is terrific. We've got an amazing makeup and, and hair team. Actually, they were the team that I did believe did the first few uh, seasons of Game of Thrones. And so they, you know, they're very well experienced and, um, you know, have full sort of body castings down in London. And then um, the process each day just for the back is about three hours in the morning um, and then an hour in the evening to take it off. But all throughout the day, it needs touched up. It needs reapplied. It needs the, you know, the, the painting of it needs to be to be done. So it's a... It's quite a long process. And then towards the end of the season, there's some episodes where Jamie gets some real damage to his body all over. And uh, yeah, I, I, was in, I was in sort of a, a long period of time, maybe four or four and a half hours in the morning. I think I'll just, I'll send her the series and then uh, not speak about it again. But um, I mean, to be honest, she's seen worse. Uh, I've done other things on stage or in other productions that I know she's sat through and... Uh, enjoyed so to speak so yeah. you know Katrina and I watched some episodes together and that was quite weird you know to be watching it and be like oh how did you think what did you think it was all right you know it's kind of quite odd we're not like um digging holes or saving people's lives but it is some, you know an experience that we go through together and so we're there for each other and it feels like we've built up this relationship this level of trust and uh, that's what we wanted for the viewer to experience you know we wanted them to see the relationship develop the gray areas or the dark areas as well as the you know the good times i love the horse riding and i love the physical stuff and the outdoor stuff and it's incredible and i also particularly enjoy any days that i'm with the other highlander boys you know the Graham McTavish or Gary Lewis or any of the, the cast, they're such a great bunch of people to, to bounce off of. And the days I, I dread, I mean, you know, the more intimate or more graphic scenes are, you know, just a challenge. And you just know that you need an extra level of, um, of concentration and, and uh, you need to just work on them, uh, you know, a bit harder. And I think it's always gratifying when you finish them as well.